So anything that you say about it is going to come off negative, no matter what. That's how they, they, they paint that picture. But I don't care because it's not good for the children and they need to stop it. Period. That part. Yeah, I did send this to you, bro. I had to I had to get your 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 feedback and your input on this. This is wild right here to me personally. I don't just roll that shit. All right, man. Yes, sir. That part. Elk Grove, California, where parents caught wind of a secret pride club for their elementary school kids. Parents say a teacher came to their fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, pitching them on an after-school club where boys could crush on boys and girls could crush on girls. Seems like something parents might want to know about, but for some reason, the school never told them the club was happening, and they're not happy. The fact that the club is called UBU in certain some circumstances, but Rainbow Clubs and others, shows the intentional deception surrounding the club. This elementary school requires permissions, permission to participate in gardening club, but somehow this club got lost in the shuffle of things, according to the principal. Again, this board has helped to create a district culture, which lost both in encourages child sexualization and hides it from parents. Just a small problem with a stranger having secret sexual conversations with their eight-year-old. That part. What the That fuck? part. Really? Like, come yeah. on. Bro. Are you serious? Are you really fucking hey. serious, you guys? All right. Man. What is this All world right. coming let me, to? Let me, let me first start off. <laughs> I don't know why we trust our school systems so much because there's time and time and time and time again uh, where we see that these school systems really ain't doing what we expect them to do as parents. Um, so it's got to start at home, man. If we got to identify those kids shouldn't be subjected to that damn rhetoric bro um uh, at that age and without your consent with your awareness with your permission i don't give a damn what people say about like hey when you drop them off to the school it's the, nah they don't get that because when it comes down to it bro they ain't the ones that's helping them do anything as far as prepare for real life, they're giving them an education. That's one part of preparing them for real life. So they don't get that other part automatically given. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the bottom line, dude, like literally if, if man, if I found that out, bro, it'd be a, it'd be a whole lot of bullshit, bro. And, I, and that makes you want to go ahead and think that makes you want to go ahead and bring it up to, 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 to and, and, you know what I mean? Question me like, Hey man, like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, you know, yeah. that's I was I was floored by that. Like, uh, why is a person's preference <clears throat> so fucking important? Right. That I mean, your your sexual preference. I don't really care, and I don't think anyone's child needs to be subjected to it at all, especially from the school. I mean. Come on. That's not your place. That's supposed to be taught in the house. And I understand that you got people out there who, you know, they, they're, they're, call them a Bible thumper or they're really, you know, they, they believe what they believe. And some of them react violently toward their offspring or family or whatever if they don't go the way they say they're supposed to go, right? So I get that, but for you to sit there and say it got lost in the shuffle of things, but yet you could remember to pass out the gardening petition or the gardening permission slip to be signed, right? So right. come on, man. Like, come on. Come yeah, on. man. Um, it, it, it's always going to be that that jargon that they try to throw out there to the to the world to make it seem like we weren't aware, fully aware of the ramifications that this was going to cause. Like you said, you're ta you're having a privately sexual conversation with my eight year old. Like, just think about that. Like, think about that. That's not that your place, place. bro. That's not your place. Like, even even the parents even figure out the best who's the best one to talk about that with that child. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 
sometimes it's it's that that delicate, man. So they don't understand, and their school system just implements this and just does it, bro. Um, that's a, that's a big problem, man. All y'all better go check out what's going on, actual kids, and see if they've been subjected to this. Because I know when they used to have uh, the uh, the police would dare at the school all the time. I used to have, I used to get upset, bro, because it's like not to. I get it. I get what they're trying to do, but at the same time, you're basically letting it be known that it's okay for them to ask children information on investigations. Like it's a, you're you're allowing that to be a stepping stone, you know, as to that when they roll through those areas where something has happened and there's children outside playing. Now that it's it's okay, and that's not okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not okay at all. And see how they desensitize it to make it to the point to where it's like, okay, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, we see them at school all the time. So they're cool. Like, hey, well, how you doing? And I used to, like, give the other side of that story to my children and be like, look, man, that's not, that's just one part of it, you know. And, and people or, yeah, say, yeah, that's that one section. Happen. Maybe that doesn't happen where you live, but I could tell mm-hmm. you what went down where I live and what I see in the people that I know and what I went through. So that's that's real life. That's real story. That's none of that that extra out bullshit just for clicks and views or nothing, or just to say, you know, whatever, bro. It's like, that's what it is. That's what it was. And to see it and to hear now with this, with the alphabet club, you know, they taking that to the next step further with the alphabet club and the elementary, bro. Like, yeah, that's too and too much. Yeah. That's too and too much. That's too and too much. We. And, 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 and that's the problem as we, the people, are so focused on other dumb shit that we don't even realize what's going on and the things that are, are that are just slowly being introduced to the the gen of the youth. It's it's you know, it's a lot of subjective stuff, but when you look at China and other countries like that and what their social media platforms look like. Nothing compared to what we got going on. We allow just idiocy or whatever the word is. I might have said it wrong, but we we allow that dumb stuff and make that popular over anything knowledge based. You know what I mean? And that's sad, bro. That's sad. That's why we here. Because <laughs> we got to try to, hey, and I, hey, we do our part. It's enough. It's enough shits and giggles out there for everybody, right? So let's 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 talk some real shit, and people, uh, get involved with your kids' school. That's the only thing I can say is just you know, you got to make the time. <clears throat> I get it. We when we were growing up, it just it was very hard. It wasn't possible uh, a lot of times unless there was somebody who was a homemaker in the house. But other than that. Nah, that didn't really pop off where we were, where we're from. You you know, everybody worked, the parents worked. And if it was a single parent, they worked even more. So. Shit, the kids worked and went to school if they were of age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't no, you know, to sit around and play video game. Nah, you better get up and go get you a summer job, a winter job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you going to do something. Like I said, man, you kept them busy and, 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 and just. Yeah. This this whole this whole factor, man, it just it burns my my soul, bro, because like there's so many kids that are they're not even thinking at that age about any of the shit that's being discussed. So it's being introduced into the psyche of the minds of these children and it's just opening up things that they weren't they're they're naturally not ready for, bro. Like I tell you, if we talk about like looking at things in the in in the the truest sense of how they compare, um, you know, us as mammals to other mammals in the world, right? Like, like we just had this discussion about, like, they compare us to chimpanzees and apes and all this kind of shit. Like, oh, our, this is the same or similar. This is the reason why we, we test this to make it see how it reacts with them, right? But I don't, once again, man, maybe I'm wrong. And if you're a zoologist or <laughs> whatever, uh, uh, somebody that's around them more, I don't be seeing too many of these animals besides dogs, man, that just, will fuck a, a a couch leg, you know what I'm saying, or at least hump it, I should say. Uh, I don't see too much of the the that type of activity, that type of behavior, you know, same sex on same sex. So why are we pushing it? Why are we got to enforce it? Why does it got to be something that's branded, branded to say, like, look, 
we deserve the right to, and we have the right, and we have the right to, to not in or to speak on it. And, but it's like, man, they taking all that away. Everything is a hate crime. Everything is this. So they could be sensitive, but then they got to put it in your face and you can't do nothing. Like, yeah. like we're, yeah. we're building this society or the society has, society has gotten, not that we build it this way, but society has gotten to be a whole bunch of fucking pansies, bro. And it's tiresome. It's very yeah. tiresome, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's it's crazy how they pick and choose what to be sensitive about. 